Hello, welcome to our channel, and today I will be showing you how to make this candle. And we'll, we'll be having a giveaway, and this candle will be the giveaway. How to enter is you have to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below giveaway. You have until May 7th to enter into this giveaway, and the winner will be announced. Let's get into the video. So this is my daughter Michaela Hi. and she'll be going through all that you will need today, okay? So go ahead Michaela. Okay, so what you'll need is some wax. And that container I actually got from Walmart, I bought something and I just kept the container. But the good thing about that container is, it's actually a pound of wax that holds in the container. Okay. So that's a pound of wax. Go ahead. And the fragrance we will be using today is very vanilla by Candle Science, and that will be in the, the, the description below. And then the last thing you'll need is a jar. That's not the last thing you'll need. <laughs> I, uh, and then what the next thing you'll need is a jar to hold the candle in. And I bought those done. at Walmart and they were $4.98 I think for four jars. Okay. Okay. And what are these things here? Okay, so you'll need a straw and I'll show you what you'll need the straw for. Then you'll need a wick and then you'll need this for me. The clip. A clip. Just like centers a wick. Okay, so what what's going on over there though? Um, this we're boiling water for like it'll be like a double boiling process. Double boiler. Double whatever, <laughs> and um, it'll boil in there the candle. So we're gonna put the but we're gonna put the wax into that jar. Yeah, and then we're gonna put boil. it in. Yeah, so. Gonna submerge it into that pot that's boiling, and that will be your double boiler. So, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna prep our jar. So uh, we're going to take the cover off, and we're gonna use a hot glue gun. Oh, we do need a hot glue gun as well. Yeah. So we're gonna bring the jar over to the table. Okay. Bring the straw and, and the wick and the clip. We're gonna go over to the table. Okay. And here we have our glue gun. Okay, so what you're gonna do, this is where the straw comes in. You're gonna put the wick in the straw so the metal part is out. And then you're gonna take your hot glue okay. You're gonna take your hot glue gun and you're gonna go around the circle. You scared of the hot glue gun? I just don't want to mess up. You'll be fine. Okay. Then All right. Then. You got to work quick because it, it dries really quickly. Okay. So then you're going to take your jar and then there should be a circle. Then you're going to put this where the circle is and then hold it there for 10 seconds. Push it right down. Push it right against the glass. Well done. Okay. And then you're just going to take this out. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to flip it, and then with your clip, you're going to put it in the middle hole, and then put this in, and then see this line? You're going to move this gently, because you don't want to break it, into it. All done. So All right, the so now thing. we're going to go back over to the stove. And, then and you wax. can see that the water is boiling, so you're gonna pour the wax into our jug. Our jug. Okay. And you might want to put this over a paper towel in case it gets messy. Sorry, your hands in the way. Pour it away. That's fine. And get all that wax out. Make some noise if you want to. Okay, so. Then you might want to look, shake it up. Okay, so then, then we're going to put this here and let that boil. So in candle making, um, the most important thing you need to remember is temperature. So the temperature we want to get this wax to is about 180 to 185. 
degrees. Um, so we'll just leave that and we'll meet you back here when the, the wax is all melted. So here we have our wax. It's in the process of melting. It's not melted all the way yet. So we'll meet you back here and we'll check the temperature. Okay, so we are going to be using this to check the temperature of our candle. This will be our thermometer. So I am going Carefully, to, yeah. just put it in there. Put it on. It'll be fine. And we're going to watch as the temperature goes up. When it stops, you know that's when it's starting. Comment down below if you have one of these. Almost there. I'm about to drop this. Okay, so I see uh, that it's at the 180 degrees mark. So uh, we are going to now take our jar, our jug, out of the water. You want to turn off turn the fire? Off, turn the fire off, right? And take the jug off. Put it on the paper. Careful. And what we need to do now is we are going to let we are going to let the wax cool down to at least 140 degrees. So and then we okay. will add our fragrance. So we'll meet you back here to check our temperature once again. Now we are going to check to see what the temperature of our wax is. Okay, so just wait the long way with the So our wax is at around 140 I think uh, you can add your fragrance um, at any temperature below 160 but you do not want to add your fragrance and when the, the wax is very hot because it tends to burn out or um, your candles won't have that um, good throw of the fragrance. So it's just past 140, but I'm comfortable with this temperature and we're going to go ahead and add our fragrance. No, it's at 140. Okay. Wipe it up. Okay, so remember we are using very vanilla. Right? How much do we add in? So uh, another item we needed which we should have mentioned in the beginning. I'll leave a full list of the items you will need in the description box. But we'll need a tablespoon. This is approximately one tablespoon. And the measurement that you are going to use is for every pound of wax, you need two tablespoons of fragrance. So, so you're gonna need... use two of these. Okay. You can do it over it, but over the wax. Yeah. Last one tablespoon. Oh, two <laughs> tablespoons. And I like my candles very strong, so I'll put it just a little tip more. Good. A little bit more. Okay, that's it, that's it. <laughs> but the general rule of thumb is for every pound of wax, you'll need two tablespoons of fragrance. Now you're gonna mix it all around so that the soy binds well with the fragrance. I wish you guys could smell this. And we just continue mixing so that the wax mixes well with the fragrance oil. And what we'll do is when this cools down to at least 120 degrees, we will pour our wax into our jar. Okay. So our wax has now reached a temperature of at least 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, So we're going to now pour. 
I don't suggest pouring any um, lower than 120. Uh, some candle makers have poured at 130, 135, but I prefer to, to pour at 120. I think the candles come out a bit more even. Okay, so now we're going to pour. So we're going to carefully take our jug over to the table. We put place the cardboard on the table just to protect the table. Okay. And you're going to pour. There's a card on there. So we are going to not touch the metal, but you can look a little bit. So you're going to pour right at the edge. And make sure when you're pouring your candles, it's in a place where there's not much movement or else the candle will end up uneven and with holes. Incorrect. So you want to make sure that it's on a level surface and not much movement going on. That's enough. Oh, I got too much. She probably did got too much, but that's okay. We're now going to leave that candle to set for uh, about an hour or so we'll check it and see okay so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take the tie clips off okay. them aside put them in the box and then we are going to trim our wings with scissors okay go ahead so so try to trim your wig at least a half an inch Above the surface of the candle. I don't know how much that is. So yes. just doesn't really matter. Just get it nice and short, but not too short. Well done. Next one. And you can also reuse your legs for smaller candles. And there you have it. And you just need to find a lid and you can give this to a person or keep it for yourself.